Hi everyone, this is Raj and welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we're going to learn how to send automatic emails using SendGrid. So it's an awesome platform for you if you're wanting to send some automatic emails, promotion emails and all of those. It's really useful. So we're going to, sh I'm going to teach you how to integrate this with any of your application, whether it's Node.js or you're just a simple HTML CSS app or a React app, anything. Uh, what I'm going to show you should be pretty more than enough for you to get started. And we're also going to go ahead and go for the process on uh, how we can uh, create the API key, create the app and just uh, just sort of get everything going and integrated. With it, okay. So if you just go ahead to sendgrid.com, pretty much you will have to sign in. So let me show you here. So you have to, uh, if you have an account, you can sign in or if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and uh, sign up and start for free. You have to have the two factor authentication and all of those. And uh, once you completed, you can straight away go for the dashboard. So I'm going to go for the dashboard here. I've opened the dashboard right here. So I'm going to just get rid of this. And if you see your dashboard might be different because uh because of the uh, number of api key you have created or not so i've only created one just for the testing but now i'm gonna go ahead and create it from the first place all right guys so as we know how the dashboard is looking right now we can basically go to email api so once you're in app.sendgrid.com you want to go to email api and click on this integrational guide okay not this dynamic templates this integrational guide so i'm going to go ahead and click it and then it's going to redirect me to a different page and let's wait until it loads. All right. So now we go, we, we are asked to, uh, so remind me later. Yeah. So it's going to ask you to set up the web API or the SMTP relay. So you can do SMTP as well. It's one of the easiest process to do it, but still you're going to go ahead and integrate the web API. Okay. So if you see, you can integrate this to node.js, Python and all that. So let's go ahead and click on choose. Okay and then you need to verify which app you're going to build it so it's going to give access to that uh, environment in this case we're going to build in a very very um, easy you no know, .js or basically javascript environment if you're using a javascript environment like react or something click on no .js because that is javascript if you're using java python you can you click one of the things basically the api is not going to change the documentation they show you will change so that's what they're asking you okay so in this case we're going to click on go ahead and click no .js and let's wait for a while until it loads and then what you gotta do right now is to uh just go ahead and read this make sure you prerequisites yes we have that and i'm going to go ahead and type a first api key name i'm going to say this is uh, sendgrid uh youtube uh yeah just yt for youtube and i can click the create key so it's going to create a key and if you see i'm going to have a create environment variable so if you see uh, they've given you simple stuff on how the documentation works but we're going to go ahead and implement it one by one explaining why we do use it but i want you to focus is this api key we're actually going to put this in a uh, virtual environment okay so what we so and also next thing we're also going to install a package okay all right so you have set up all of the stuff and now what you gotta do is to just simply implement this and once you implement that you can just go ahead and verify that so that before we go ahead and verify we want to make sure you implement this i'm going to go ahead to my visual studio code and if i take in the files i have it's pretty simple uh, just a simple simple file which has uh, installed two dependencies which is npm syngrid mail okay so this is what you find right here npm install save at syngrid mail so you make sure you save that one okay and then we also have dot env okay so dot env just to give access to our env and if you don't know what's env we store our api keys right here okay even if you copy this and just do it it's going to create you an env file but we have just manually done dot dot env just just go ahead and create saying dot env uh just create an index.js file which is empty okay and in this i have a syngrid api key but i'm going to go ahead and replace this with the key that they provide me okay i'm going to copy this and i'm just going to go ahead and paste this with this api key now the reason that i had it before itself i just used the same code in my last testing so i had it for you probably you would not have it so just go ahead and say syngrid api key you can call it whatever you want and then just go put your api key okay and this is not a must you can have it in the index or the app, app itself but when you're hosting this this shouldn't be deployed so that's the only reason we're having an env file okay so now let's go to the index.js and now we need to get some basic stuff done okay so the first thing that we are going to go ahead and do is to get access to our .env so we can use it in our api okay so that i'm just going to say require 
okay so this is the older way of doing it because dot env just allows you to do it in this way uh so just let's go ahead and say dot env we want to get dot env okay and we just create dot config for it so the whole the whole data i mean the whole four file itself is going to get access to it so you can pretty much see how you want to if you want to test it out we can do that as well so if you want to say process okay so just say process dot uh process dot env okay dot whatever you have named it so let's just for the sake of it let's just put this okay and now let's go ahead and say node index dot js okay and if you see this is the api key we get so that's good and make sure you create and cre use your own api key on mine okay so now what we're gonna do guys we're basically getting access to the env now what we need to do is to create a send grid uh, object so which we have already installed right if you're not installed make sure you go ahead and run this command npm install and then run at send grid slash mail okay and now what you want to do right now is to basically go ahead uh, to right here and just say const send grid okay i'm gonna just say const send grid and you can call it whatever you want i want to say it's send grid mail or you can also call it uh whatever you want so i'm just going to say send grid mail and let's go ahead and just say require okay we're going to basically require this from uh install packages which is this one okay all right and now we need to set an api key okay so for this to authorize our application so let's say send grid email set api key okay and then we're going to set the api key so in, in this case it's actually going to be a uh, process.env so let's say process dot env dot and this one which is going to be the same grid which we already console log to see what we get so we're getting that so you need to set the api key and the second one that once you do this we're basically going to customize a message okay it's an object so we basically put a message which is equals to an object and have a couple of attributes inside that so the first one you need to have two so for for whom you are going to send this message so i'm going to go ahead and send it to my one of my other accounts which is rather than seven 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 at gmail.com and also make sure uh the whatever you put so whatever you put is going to be uh inside a string okay so i'm just going to get rid of that put it to a string and i'm going to say rather than seven 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 at gmail.com okay and now i'm going to say from from is me right so this is a tricky part because many people put many different emails that wouldn't work you need to put the email which is registered uh by your sendgrid for example my email i've registered through sendgrid is 666 at gmail.com basically my my email that i use to log in and log out uh, from sendgrid so this is the email so i've registered this email so you need to put this okay and now let's go ahead and uh, send a simple thing which is going to be the subject so let's go ahead and say subject is equal to and you can put any subject so we're gonna say test uh or we just say send grid email we can do that and make sure you don't miss any commas right and then we can go ahead and put some text here now the text could be anything i want to put test let's say uh oops let's say some test message uh from uh, from send grid oops okay let's do it like that so test message from string grid and also you can have some html uh so if you want you can have a let's say a strong text like that okay and have a strong text like that uh now you can use h1 anything you want you, basically a preference and then you're gonna have you can say message uh, sent by send grid okay we can do it okay so now we've constructed our message object so now what we need to know we basically have to go ahead and send it so it's very simple we've already having the dependency which we installed send grid mail so let's say send grid mail dot send okay and that's a function and that just takes in one thing which is a simple message and that's what it takes in so send grid or send and it's going to take the message all right so that's how you send the message but however how would you know whether it's done it's, it's good is the message is all right or we have an error so we can use then and dot then and catch to this so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead for the second line and dot say dot then okay now this is going to be a simple function so i'm just going to say uh console dot log and i'm going to say 
uh, email email was sent success oh, oh wait wait you know it's you can you can say anything so email was uh, successfully sent okay so anything is okay uh, so we can say email is so successfully sent and then if you have an error you can also do something else like that so you can come down and say catch and then you get access to the error right and then you can basically just go ahead and console.log the error so we know that that is some error in the email if that's the case and i'm also using prettier so it's automatically formatting this so yeah that's what that's how pretty much you need so make sure you have configured all of this send grid uh, all of this message uh, all of those and now uh you're good to go so let's go ahead and just click on i've integrated the code above okay so we know it's whether it's working or something uh they could verify that but before that we can just go ahead and test it so for testing um the the main file is index.js so i'm gonna say node just index you don't need to say index.js and i'm gonna click on index and now it has it to send me there we go email was successful so let's go ahead and check whether the email was successful or not all right guys so i'm in my email account so this is the rotterdam 6777 at gmail.com and if you see i have got an email from rotterdam 666 saying the send grid email as the subject and we have a strong text saying message sent by send grid so it's working right so this is how you basically send the emails to send grid but however if you want to send email to multiple users it's also simple you just have to put a comma like that and just send it to anyone you want in this case i'm going to send it to 666 at gmail.com or the, the verified one but anyway anything is okay you can just send it to anyone you want uh so if you just put a comma and do it you're gonna also get that email for the second user so as like that you can just go on putting any names but i'm not gonna do it you get the point uh you can pretty much it's so simple to go ahead and integrate send grid like that okay all right guys so i just forgot to mention one more thing is that once uh everything is done you don't need to keep this open like that uh once you just integrated and tested one thing out you can just go ahead and click on this in in integrated code above and click on verify integration and then it's going to say let's test your integration send an email from your application and done if you want you can do it click on verify integration and we've already done that so it's saying it worked because we've actually done it and uh, we have got the demo of it so it's working so that's all right for that and if you want to go ahead and click on view email activity you can just go ahead and see the uh the reports and how the analytics on how your email is working but yeah uh that's nothing much so yeah that's it so hope you love this simple tutorial and if you have any question then definitely leave it in the description uh, if you have any errors then just leave it in the description i will check that out and uh, yeah subscribe to the channel we are already 500 subscribers thank you so much uh yeah and thank you so much for watching i hope you loved it uh if you have any question as it told yeah leave it and if you want to have a personal chat with me uh contact me to the rotterdam 666 gmail.com email i will get back to you soon anyway that's it thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you soon Bye bye